Every year, we are bombarded with tons of Chinese astrology predictions for the 12 Chinese zodiac, for the 12 animal signs. So, and you may be thinking, oh, what's in store for me? Am I this lucky or am I, is my zodiac doing well? Well, actually, you may have up to four different zodiac in your chart, and I will explain to you why and how it actually works. Because first of all, the, the 12 Chinese zodiac actually is part of this Basel astrology system, which is one of the Chinese astrology system to, to help us to uh, understand one's inborn energy pattern characteristic. So once we are able to uh, decipher this kind of information, then we will able to deduce the potential characteristic, the luck, the opportunity, the skill set, you know, and most of the stuff. So as you can see in this chart, there are four different pillars. For example, the year, month, day, and hour. Each of them govern two characters, the heavenly stem on top, which is governing the most obvious stuff, and the earthly branches, which is the 12th Chinese zodiac. And the 12th Chinese zodiac may have more hidden uh, energy that holds within them. And I will about to explain to you step by step. But first, you got to be wondering, why do we need to discover our Chinese astrology chart? And why does it even matter? You know, why do I just keep reading all these Chinese uh, zodiac prediction on the internet? Well, this is the most interesting part because I too try to understand. You know, I've been seeking for all these prediction forecasts annually, and most of them didn't turn out well to me because it's not that accurate. And I eventually realized that I was reading it wrong until I start to uh, study some course, and that's eventually how I discover all this stuff. So first of all. Why it is important for us to discover all these Chinese astrology charts? First of all, is to understand ourselves better. Secondly, to understand our inborn energy pattern, our characteristic, our attitude, our behavior, our mindset. How do we react over stuff? How do we handle stuff? How do we handle situations or circumstances? And our own potential, our given potential, strength, weakness, threat, opportunities, or what we call the sort analysis, and Chinese astrology or all this uh, astrological system is a non-biased way where it just decipher based on the date and time of your birth. So it's not about your know, psychological like DIS. DIS is more psychological kind of um, uh, deductions. So for the Chinese astrology system, it's just based on your date and time of birth. We can deduce your kind of characteristics and your potential. And it can be also used to understand people understand your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend, your business partner, how they handle their stuff, how do they uh, overcome or, or solve any uh, uh, their characteristic, their best role. You know, all this stuff can be answered through the art of reading or decoding your own inborn energy. And or perhaps if you don't want to discover this chart, you know, you can still discover your life, your character, your, your best uh, your skill set, your best advantage, you know, what are you born with through trials and error? But this will take time. So it's still come back to you. Either you can actually just pay someone to buy the answer, or you can go through hassle, you know, exploring, going through multiple relationships in order to find out what truly matters to you. So this is the one of the best ways the best options that you can start investing in to understand yourself better. Because why? In life, it's just like, you know, this island where the moment we are born, this planet are filled with a lot of attraction, they're filled with a lot of stuff that wait us to explore. So there are a lot of treasure like money, material way, uh, material gain, the car, your, your dream house, all this material stuff come with a lot of sacrifice and in order to obtain them you have to go out and find them and have to work hard to gain them so throughout our life there are a lot of different attractions and each of them will locate differently and they are bound to have some journey some process and path to in order to reach them so by aware of all this path all this journey we have to first understand how, where we are first and how do we navigate? How do we actually find our path, working our way towards that ultimate goal to find the treasure in our life? So first, understand ourselves. Secondly, we have to understand where are the path 
in order to reach. It could be our career, it could be our relationship, it could be our own family, or perhaps your dream is to become the astronaut or become some uh, a KOL, key opinion leader, or YouTuber. And they are bound to have a lot of challenges, they're bound to have processes. And throughout this process, we have to aware what kind of terrain, the terrain that we are navigating, what kind of environment, what kind of energy in that field that we need to navigate ourselves and what kind of vehicle ourselves. Imagine, you know, you let's say you discover that you are a four-wheel drive car and but you are actually competing with other people in the racing circuit. Of course, you know, you may not have that advantage. But however, if you are being placed in a in a rough hill side and comparing to a Ferrari, well, that would make a major difference. So it boils down us to actually discover the cosmic trinity because people, environment, and our heavily born kind of um, what we call the things that we can't change, you know, we can't change which kind of family we born in. We can't change, we can't select where, which country or which place, which, which city we should be born in because the process of creation is already completed the moment that we are born. So when we are born, we will be presented as well with our date and time of birth because it can be de encode or decode our energy pattern. So based on this, we can understand what our inborn energy, the moment we were, we were born, the time, and the energy pattern. And based on that, we can uh, discover, just like a cell phone, you know, the moment a cell phone has been produced, you already know what kind of features that you is already inherited. Some phone were way better as, you know, doing photography, videography. Some of them were best in gaming. Some of them could have high security. Some of them were meant for uh, uh, business purposes, you know. So you have to discover which kind of phone that that have that different features. You can't be expecting a gaming phone to perform very well in, in videography or, or filmography. You know, each of them were designed for different purposes. So we also have to discover what is our inborn energy. And then the main part is our actions. Once we were born, after that, we have to go through life journey, life experience, and we have to study a lot of courses going, going through school in order to install more information, more applications in our life so that we can make changes because in our life, in our conscious life right now, it is up to you to make conscious decisions. What kind of options you want, what you want to eat, what kind of career, what kind of stuff you want to buy, what kind of clothes you want to wear. That is your decisions. But still, we are living in this planet. We are governed and affected by our environment kind of energy. For example, let's say you are born in, in South Africa and that country was famous for a certain industry like mining. And those are the most populated kind of industry. And those are the most overwhelming uh, uh, prosperous, for example. So you have to discover what kind of environment provide, what kind of opportunity and what kind of people that you are meeting and what kind of things that you may attract within that boundary, okay? So nevertheless, once you answer, understand the heaven part, which is your inborn energy and your own conscious decision making and what kind of circumstances, what kind of environment that you are navigating truth. Because first, you have to understand the cosmic, the planetary. Because as you can see in this chart, in there, by the way, these are all real planets and the same concept were also used in Western astrology because basically most astrology is about observing the stars because back in the old days, there isn't internet, there's no electricity, there's no entertainment. So all the Chinese ancient sages, they are just looking at the stars because, you know, that's the most fascinating stuff that you can see during the night, uh, during the dark, dark time, you know. So having that say, you will discover that based on their observations over different planetary movement, they discover patterns, they discover a lot of, uh, 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 pattern analysis that could actually represent or it can show you certain patterns. For example, you know, like you can see the Mercury planet, uh, Mercury star, which is 
in Chinese, we just call it the, the water star. So it's all these star like Venus, the metal star, Mars, the fire, Jupiter, the wood, and Saturn, the earth star. Each of these planets will have their own gravitational uh, energy vibrations, which will influence the frequency. And subsequently, it will also influence us, the human being, because why? Our body consists more than 60% of water. So similar like this graph, you know, when the, the positions of the moon, earth, and the sun, when they are in different positions, somehow they are bound to affect the high tide and low tide of the seawater. So these are all scientific studies, uh, statistical research, all this stuff you can search online. So basically, what I'm trying to tell you that, you know, our human being will also consist of more than 60% of water. So being that said, our blood also have the iron cell and which could be affected or influenced by magnetic field or different alignment from this planet because different alignment in different axis will have some different dynamics kind of energy shift. So it will direct or indirectly affecting us without us knowing that. So that's why we are trying to learn the Chinese astrology system to find out how we can actually use this kind of database, all this kind of uh, pattern and statistical study to help us make a better decision in understand ourselves. Just like cell phone, all the smart applications, like if anyone of you use the weather forecast app, did you all use the uh, Google map or, or Waze, you know, try to navigate around by getting more data and what is going on around, what is happening, what are the potential things that is already happened in the past. All this past data can be used for us to understand our future better based on the pattern, tendency, and forecast. So just treat the Bazi or Chinese astrology system just like a statistical system and you will understand that it is quite fascinating. You can find out more answer and all this coincidence and all this uh, why things happen to you. So how we use it, it's just like, you know, when you are born, you already know that your date and time of birth, that is just like a QR code. You know, you have to decode it in order to find out the patterns, you know, just like each of us, you know, we wish that, you know, when we were born, we were provided the user manual, the user guide, our specification uh, data, you know, to understand, oh, this guy will best born, uh, were born best to perform well in running their own business. This person are well, uh, good at leadership, they talk about sales, uh, do promotions, PR skill set. You know, I wish I know that. So I hope you will also able to un uh, understand this kind of dilemma and this is also the solutions, okay? Having this kind of solutions will help you to understand yourself better because our characteristic, just like the phone concept that I explained just now, we were born with certain energy and it's our responsibility to find out what is our skill set, our talent. So throughout this process, either you can use time through trials and error, getting on a couple of jobs and realizing realizing that that is not your stuff, then you have to perhaps spend more time to, you know, try and try and try again. Or perhaps you can try to just buy the answer, buy a consultant's time to decode your own inborn energy and why things happen in such a way for you. Okay, so overall for Chinese astrology system, the 12th Chinese uh, zodiac is part of the time measurement or the calendrical kind of uh, um, a representative and I think you already by now you may have watched you know the story of how the red win the, the, the race to the party held by the emperor right so those are just story but the actual context were actually all these 12 Chinese zodiac were designed to be used in uh, understand to uh, represent month or date or time. So let's say you understand that, let's say you are born in uh, 1974, you could be born in the year of tiger, but you are born in the month of March, which your year, uh, the, your month pillar is the rabbit zodiac. And you could, you could be born in the day of horse. Okay, day of horse means that you are someone who explorative, you know, and 
perhaps you can even born in the hour of rooster. So you may have potential to gain to have four different zodiac influencing each areas of your life and we are about to go to that level okay nevertheless as you can see you know uh, in the in this blue color green color the orange color and light orange color each of them were also representative of different seasons but do not take this season so literally you know it's like Right. This, does this system even work for non-Chinese? You know, for, for us Westerners, we could be living in the South, uh, the North Pole, the South Pole. And does it influence us because, you know, in, in spring of, of for China, it may not be, it could be summer in our country, you know. So I just need you all to know, this is just the metaphor for the five elements, okay. So the, five, the, the four season is not, actually correlated or, or directly related to your own your own local country kind of uh, season because me living in Malaysia we only have two seasons one is hot one is rainy and that's it or perhaps there's another in transition which is the haze season so that's all you know but the Chinese astrology system actually found out this database this pattern is based on the exist of the planetary movement so as long as you are living in this planet then you are influenced by this kind of pattern okay so it does work for everyone as long as you are living in this planet of okay that's all what i'm trying to say okay so once you understand that you know like i mentioned all five all the chinese metaphysics or chinese astrology are based on the foundation of five elements so the old ancient Chinese sages, they just somehow have their own way to use the five elements to, f to, to design the entire system. Compared to uh, Western astrology, well, they, they are on their own. They have different way. But for Chinese astro astrology, be it, you know, your facial reading, your physiognomy, the feng shui, your astrology patterns, all of them, even including yi jing or i ching, were also based on the foundation of the five elements because the, the, the foundation of five elements exists in this planet and it can be easily understand. For example, like the wood element, which I already mentioned, the Jupiter star, is producing fire. Fire produces earth. Earth will produce metal. Metal will produce the water and eventually the water will also nurturing back the tree. So each of these five elements will be also split into yin and yang. As you already may know, this symbol already well known that the balance of good and bad, dark and light, uh, heavy and light, you know, there's all, everything has to be balanced. So throughout uh, the discover, discovery of all these Chinese ancient uh, uh, wisdom, they already found out all these patterns are quite, you know, intriguing and it, it's been instilled in most philosophical studies. But since this is not a class, I'll skip this. So, like I said, all five elements will be split into yin and yang, okay? Which I will be about to explain more. So overall, once you understand all this pattern, then you understand that, you know, so there's yin and yang inside of me. There's good and bad, there's are strong and weak, there are opportunity and also threat in each of us. Yes. And you gotta be wondering, oh, so my life has been fixated like, like a robot or a machine being designed and being produced and they should work for the rest of their life as much as how they have been programmed until they die? Not entirely. So you have to understand that all this pattern is just telling us our inborn nature. The pr creation process already completed the moment when we are born. The rest is our human realm. It's where we have to take conscious decisions and what kind of action are we taking in order to change that. So first, understand the foundation, your character, your attitude, your behavior, because at least these foundations is going to affect the outcome of how you make decisions. And from decisions, you will start to take action. And whatever you do throughout that action will produce the outcome. And eventually, that outcome will be so-called your destiny. So remember, overall, 
reading all this, understanding the Chinese astrology system is not telling you that your life is already carved on stone. No, it's not. Your life is not carved in stone. I repeat, your inborn energy, maybe yes, is already, uh, already set up. But just like a cell phone, you can still install different application through into your phone that you can still use it. You can you know, install a lot of games and waste your time by playing all this game. Or perhaps you can install some applications which can help you to generate more wealth or learn more stuff by downloading more ebooks or more features to enrich your own self. So remember, we, we may not be able to change our date and time of birth, but however, we already know that these are the sets of energy that we have been given and it is up to us on how to use it because ultimately based on this quote by Abraham Lincoln the best way to predict your future is to create it so remember reading astrology doesn't mean that your life is fixated it's not meant that you know you are just a robot by the moment you're born you have to work until you die to serve other people's not entirely you still have the free will to make that choice so before we proceed any further, I think by right now, you should have plot your own budget destiny chart, which I already provide a lot of free uh, calculator in my description or in my website. So do go and check it out. So basically, this is the structure of any, the four pillar of destiny or the budget, the eight characters. Eight characters means, you know, in your year, there are the, the, the heavily stem of being, for example, for this person, the, he could be born in the month of snake on top of them is the misty uh, water energy so in a day he could be born in the red day and in hour could be born in the rabbit hour so you may have up to four different zodiac in each of this pillar and each pillar will govern different aspects so here is a detailed chart for each of the pillar. Okay, so the year pillar could govern your first impression, your external, your, your friends, your social network, your general outlook, your external influence, your childhood, your supplier, your market, your network. And it could also denote the, the uh, first 15 years of your life. And from, uh, year, uh, from one year old until the 15 years old. And this is for the year pillar. For the month pillar, it will govern your performance, your career, your business, the things that you do in generating wealth, your skill set, your, your, your ability, your strength. And also it brings you about your parent, your workspace, your close friends, the people who are your besties, who are very close to you, the shareholders in your, your office, your, your company, your ambitions, your superior, your boss. And as for the day pillar, it brings, it represents you yourself, first of all. Secondly, your thoughts pattern, your spouse, your relationship, your personal view, your character, personality, your people who are very close to you, and perhaps even your home, okay? And this will govern, you know, the later stage of life, which is around 35 to 45 years old. And lastly, the hour pillar governs your investment, your dreams, your asset, the things that you hold dearly to, your children, the people who work for, for you, your students, your, your staff, subordinates, um, your desires, your thinking passion, your, 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 your desire, your, your passions, and your overall is your thoughts pattern, what's in your mind, in your chart. So I know it may sound complicated. Let me dissect it further into a layman term. For example, but let us just split the year and month pillar, both of them just like the car, you know. The year pillar governs the type of car, the shape. Let's say your car is just like a truck. It could be some pickup truck. It could be some sedan. It could be some coupe car. And it could even be a sports car looking. But when it comes to the performance, the transmission, the drive train, that is talking about your month pillar. The month governs the power, the engine, the transmission. Your car could be look like you know a, a, a Mini Cooper, but it's actually installed on top of a four wheel drive, and it turned out to be a Bigfoot truck. If you have seen that, you know. So you have to understand the most important part in your chart is the month, is the engine, 
the shell could be you know from afar we just look you just like your ordinary sedan car and when we move closer then we can see your engine we can feel the engine the power the vibrations right and next deeper into you is the day and our pillar the day represent the driver and also your spouse someone who is sitting next to you right and if you don't have a spouse perhaps you are just sitting your own self and this the the day pillar talk about you your personality your own personal growth and for the hour it governs your children your asset the things that why are you driving that car are you bringing anything behind your car you know what are what are the important stuff that you, you put behind perhaps in your life you aspire to become the best father to raise your own kids to have your own family and that's govern your vision your dream or perhaps it could also govern you know behind your car you could be putting a lot of investment a lot of gold a lot of uh, a lot of uh, what we call the 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 earth uh, the, the the land uh, agreement you know all this asset that truly matters to you the most right so once you understand what kind of vehicle what kind of car that you are born with and secondly understand what kind of engine what kind of performance and also understand how the character of this driver the attitude the mindset the behavior how is this driver is going to navigate his the way he's, he drives his car and his thought pattern what ins, inspire him to drive his car in certain way so once you discover that then you will know okay my chart this this is the pattern so remember once again in our chart we split into external and internal and by the way you will discover that And next you will discover, so after you discover your chart, just use the car, the driver as the metaphor, then you will understand, oh, this is how my chart actually looks like. For example, like you will have the, <clears throat> okay. Now that you have discovered your chart is just like a car, you know, it's the vehicle that we drove to reach our destination. So you can see your chart just like this one, you know, the heavenly stem talks about your wait okay this is the one <clears throat> once you have discovered your chart it just once you have discovered your chart it's just like the driver and the vehicle. What kind of car are you driving? What kind of engine? What kind of performance you are already given? Then you can see your chart just like this one. So overall, there are eight characters. Four of them are the heavenly stem, which is governs the most obvious stuff. How do your physical well-being? Uh, how do you look like? You know what kind of color perhaps for for the, your vehicle? You know the mood, the energy based on the five elements, and hidden underneath. It talk about your subconscious, the hidden features, the things that is not visible to the public. So remember, in the heavenly stem on top, it governs the things which is more obvious that you can visibly seen. And the hidden is all about your subconscious, the hidden stuff, the features, the energy that install inside of you. So as you can see, there are eight different characters and each of them will govern different aspect and different way for us to decipher. So remember, first is the driver. We have to find out from the day pillar. And by the way, some parts of plotter will, will reverse. You know, they will start from year, month, day, reversely compared to this chart. But in the old ancient China, you know, the, the, the way they designed it was read from right to left. So we just go with this kind of as a standard. Okay. So you will understand that this is the year pillar governs your external and also the month governs the performance and both of these were the external part of your life. 
internal is govern you, the driver, and your thoughts pattern, your aspirations, your dream. Okay? So first, we have to discover you, the driver, because ultimately, we, the driver, are highly influenced in how we are going to navigate and how are we going to drive the car that we've been given. So based on this, so in your chart, find out what is the heavenly stamp on top of this. What is that one Chinese character? There'll be, most of them have the English translation. So go and find it out. So this is what we call the day master, okay? So as I already mentioned, five different elements will be split into the yin and yang. So this is the 10 heavenly stem, okay? Once you discover there are yin and yang side of each of these elements, then you will, dis the, you will discover that each of them portray or exude their own uh, character differently. So let us get started with the wood element. Well, the first one is the big tall tree called the jia. Jia is the yang wood, means it's a tough, very, uh, just like an oak, oak tree where it was tough, it's very dependable, it's very tall, and the tree could be very loyal because you seldom see a tree just left the ground the next day, right? So for those who are born as the Jia or the Yang Wood personality, you are slow and steady growth. You are someone who is trustworthy and constantly learning because the tree constantly love to grow because that's what they do. For them, they are quite stubborn and inflexible and they could be not only stubborn, sometimes they hold themselves too strong to a, stealth, uh, to a stage that they put a lot of uh, expectation on their own self to pressure themselves to grow. But however, the tree person is very nurturing because they love to grow in hopes to see the world, to understand how um, you know the, the furthest uh, scenescape of wherever the tree was born. He will have tendency to learn and discover more information so that he can actually uh, bring all this information to support or nurture or to teach or share to small plants which growing around them. So for those who are born with the tree, well, basically you are someone who is very knowledgeable, patience and able to uh, learn all the different stuff. However, you are somehow rigid, inflexible, and compared to the yin polarity of the wood element, which is the yi, yi, the yin wood. The yin wood just like crawling, creepy, ivy, you know, flowery plant where they are not very tough. They are not really as uh, rigid. They are more flexible and they're more adaptable in any circumstances. So for them, they are very expressive because the yang wood may not be that expressive. But for Yi Wood, they know how to speak, how to mingle around with you. Their social skill set are very good as well. And by the way, they are very opportunistic because why? The Yi Wood will have tendency to crawl or leverage on, on plant like, you know, either the mountain or the Yang Wood, the tree, crawl on top of the, the, the tree surface to actually reach for the sunlight, reach for the resources, reach for the nutrient. So for the Yi Wood, they are flexible where the yang wood is more rigid and stubborn so you can understand you know, so my husband is a, is a yang wood he's just stubborn as heck but he constantly loves to learn and he's very loyal he's just be there and and constantly talk about ideas talk about wisdom talk about how do we actually grow our own self while the yi wood will keep seeking for resources leveraging on other people you know being social mingle around and find more different resources find wisdom truth other people so this is the difference for and by the way for the yi wood the negative side of them is they are slightly you know fickle minded and they are they can be manipulative because they are opportunists anyway and they are also sensitive because the Yi Wood, they are not that tough. So for them, they have to navigate around. And when this happens, they are easily hurt because they are, they are, they are, they are very, just very thin plant. So that's why if anything just hurt them, it could meant a lot of pain to them. So this is their characteristic. And next is the Bing Fire. Bing Fire is just like the sunlight. You know, the, basically it is the sun. And for the Yin counterpart, which is the Ding Fire, is the candle light which is smaller okay so for those who are born with the bing fire the yang fire as you can see in this chart 
they are someone who is very magnanimous and they are constantly ever giving and they have infinite amount of energy and they constantly nurture, provide energy, provide the, 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 the nurturing and provide all these resources. They are very cheerful, very happy because when you see the sun, they constantly bring you the, wo the warmth. So having such a friend who are born with the sun, with this yang fire, well, it's going to be very happening. It's going to be uh, very noisy because this is the happy fruit in every crowd that we love to have. And they are very generous, very sincere, and also very compassionate. So high chance that the Bing Fire people who are born with this day master, they may also love dogs, pets, you know, they just, they may even, you know, based on my case, there are a lot of people who are born with this uh, day master. They somehow they have dogs and cats. I don't know why, maybe because they are very compassionate, they are very sincere and, and appreciate every single life in this planet. However, the negative traits of them is too highly principled because for them, they believe this is how things are supposed to be working. This is how the world, the pro-life creation energy was, was supposed to go. So they don't like people who have evil intention. So, and th they are also loner in this way because why? Because there's only one sun, right, by the way, and if you have two sun in your chart, well, it is a nuclear reactor, okay? So for the sun, they constantly go through the same path, you know, today it, 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 uh, it sunset, tomorrow it rise again, so they are very routine driven. So they can actually, going through the same path to office, they can eat the same food, do the same thing, routine driven person. So. That is for the yang fire. How about the ding, the yin fire, the small fire? Well, the sun shine thrive during the day, but during the night time, this is where the ding fire, the torch light or the match, actually provide the warmth, provide the hope, provide the small warmth and light to uh, enlighten during the darkness. So they are very inspiring intellectual because the both of the fire person they constantly love to read books by the way because that's their resources so for the ding fire you must aware that wood is a very important element to you because without the wood you are nothing so they are very thoughtful inspiring uplifting and they just love to help other people until to a stage that they constantly self-sacrifice themselves because they easily burn out like i say you know they rely on wood element in order to propel them to be able to serve more and nurture other people so that's why without the wood well you will easily burn out and you may have some health issue because you constantly burn out and you are lethargic and basically you will have tendency to uh, affected by some health a minor health issue and for the ding fire, they're also temperamental because the fire can be sometimes big, can be sometimes small. It depends how you control the amount of the burning, okay? So as I mentioned, these are the characteristics for the fire personality. And next, we are going to talk about the yang earth. So earth element comes with the yang polarity, which is like the mountain. Or the yin part is the soil, the soft side, okay? Let's talk about the Wu Earth. If you can see the Wu Earth, which also written as a Yang Earth, the mountain basically is uh, some of it's very trustworthy. You never seen a mountain just move away, right? You know, they are constantly there. And the mountain, very dependable because why? They are always there. If you ask someone to do some routine driven kind of work to stay monitoring, you know, like, like security guard, well, they can actually sit there and look at the screen and observe everything because the mountain person are very observant. But however, they could be very slow, indecisive, uh, you know, keep waiting. If you ask them out for dinner, you know, they will keep, yeah, I'm coming while well, they were still on bed. Now I, I'm nearing there, I'm, I'm reaching there because they keep, you know, procrastinate and they keep relax, chill down because they will say, you know, I will do my stuff once I have inspiration. So for those who are born with the yang earth, well, once they, you know, just imagine a mountain being ripped off and all the stones will start to roll down. Once they have a very clear vision, once they have a very clear goal, and they will shatter themselves and all the stones will rolling down to the hill 
non-stop and no one can stop them. They can be unstoppable if they have a very clear goal. But don't offend them because the mountain, they also love to um, uh, hide a lot of treasure inside of them because the value of a mountain is how much stuff they can store inside of them. Okay? So next is the yin earth, the, the, the opposite polarity of the yang earth. So the G earth, as you can see the word here, and also the yin earth uh, translation. Basically, the yin earth, just like soil, they, are, they have their motherly nurturing con uh, uh, and also very compassionate. They constantly love to nurture and support growth of other people. So they are constantly very productive because their role is to produce, to support, to create and nurture other people. So this kind of people will constantly busy working and, and, and they just overwork themselves and self-sacrifice their time to solve other, other people's needs as priority. And they constantly make sure other people are well taken care of, which, which is also why they are more worrisome. And for them, they're also secretive because they wanted to make sure your well-being, your mental, your, your stuff are being you know, well protected so that you have less worry, you have less uh, 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 um, issue or emotional that is, you know, worriness that is causing you to not being able to perform. So for the G of person, they are very nurturing. So the G of is also what we call the, the motherly love kind of uh, characteristic. So they are very resourceful. If you ask them for, for any resource or network, they will somehow be able to provide you. And as a matter of fact, they will provide more than what you ask for. So this is the yin of. Next is the yin and yang metal. The yang metal is a tough, just like the axe or sword. They are more blunt, they are more action oriented. Before you start to tell them the plan, they already start to take action. So for them, they are able to and take endurance, they are able to take any hardship and they are very practical. And for them, they will get things done based on physical. So for them, it's all about take action. No action, well, they are not interested in your ideas anyway. So for them, they are highly principled and very altruistic. So for the gung metal, as you can see, this characteristic, uh, this character with the yang metal denominations underneath each of the budget chart, then you know this person is very tough and self-driven. They are self-motivated and they will do everything by their own self. They're so independent. The only negative stuff is easily offend other people because sometimes they're just keen on taking actions and they are very blunt, very straightforward. Sometimes could hurt other people. So for them, they just can't accept, you know, if you are telling too much BS or, or story, they prefer you to tell them what needs to be done. And also they can't accept being bullied. For those who are being bullied, who are being uh, uh, affected, they will come to protect you. So they are very altruistic, protective, and they talk about the brotherhood, the sisterhood. And they, this is the best partner that you need when you feel you are being bullied or somehow you are lack of drive, you know. So for them, the, another negative trait is hasty. They sometimes do things fast and without talking too much, they already start doing it. So this kind of people, they need to slow down a little bit, understand what kind of plan we have, then only you move forward. Okay, next is the diamond, the jewelry, the yin metal. The yin metal will portray themselves as more beautiful compared to the X. Well, I'm more extravagant, I'm more fine and refined. I'm shining just like a jewel. For them, they can take some amount of mental stress, but however, for them, they are not that physical oriented. They are more about using their speech, they, they talk it well, they are able to use facts and figure to, to give you the information. Or they are also very argumentative because they can be very serious in their life. But however, when they are witty, they can have their own cold jokes. Okay, So for them, they are frank, direct and cut the BS. They will straight tell you fact is, is fact, one is one and that's it. So they constantly need, they are craving for being shine, being known, being seen because the metal need to be seen, right? Otherwise, what's the point? So for them, by the way, 
um, for those who are born with the sin metal, high chance you don't like to watch ghost movie or haunted all this creepy stuff because you know you are fine and refined and shiny so you don't like all this creepy stuff so for you sometimes you could be very selfish you take good care of your own self and these people normally they dress well they know how to present themselves in front of the public so make sure you understand this is the, their characteristic okay and they also love to compare crave for attentions because you know the diamond if you don't show them what's the point of having them okay and lastly, the yin and yang element of the water. Well, first is the run water, the yang water. Yang is very solid and compared to the gui water, which is more the gas type. So the yang water, just like the sea water or the lake, when they are calm, they protrude very beautiful scene and it will make you feel very tranquil. So water, they don't like, you know, the gray area, they don't like the gossip they don't like politics for them they prefer to like you know prim and proper and we should all work together to create our own um, ecosystem where we can build our own coral reef attract more people come into our life and gain benefit and and make money together where we can scale up and grow and, and, and expand you know this is their characteristic so they don't like politics they don't like to gossip for them, they are very adaptable because the water can flow anywhere. They can adapt into any circumstances. And the water also represents wisdom, intelligence, knowledge. So for them, they are very observant and they constantly mentally stimulate themselves to find out what is the most uh, attractive or uh, trend, patterns, knowledge, how people work, how the environment works. So they are very observant around them. And the only negative stuff, when the calm water on calm state, of course, it looks beautiful like a mirror. But once they are broken, when the water is gushing out, they can become the tsunami. Well, literally, they are the tsunami. They can crash anything temperamental. And it's just emotionless. So don't trigger them or don't try to you know offend them because once they are in deep temper, they are in big temper. So for them, they are more emotional driven because for them, the feeling is very important. So that's why you have to work properly together with this group of people by pretty poor proper measure. You tell your side of story properly and no backstabbing because otherwise they don't like it. So they are also drifter means the water will constantly flow. If they are in being captured in a still water, they can be very calm, but they are not making any progress. They are just stagnant water. So water need to flow. So they will discover and they constantly love to adventure. They will crave for explorations, crave for travel. So this is their nature. If not, they will exude more fear, constantly worry because too much of wisdom, too much of thinking will lead you to depression. So make sure you understand your characteristic well. And next, is the gui water gui the yin water which is like the mist like the like the cloud okay they are formless and they are not really fixated and they are constantly moving so the yang water will be able to work in a nine to five job but for the yin water they constantly need to move if you hold them down they will feel you know being bogged down they can't be themselves so the misty energy also represent curious also represent mysticism because for them they constantly love all this mysterious art they will love to watch you know uh, all the uh, the gold the golden triangle and how all this mysterious work and how the ufo the planetary all this stuff they are constantly curious so for them it's all about adaptable and also being able to learn and be able to understand everything so for them they are very curious and easy going for so this is their characteristic but they make a very good teacher anyway because they have a lot of wisdom they have gathered a lot of stuff but however the biggest issue is that they are quite fickle minded because they love to they just literally love everything so if you ask them to master a particular subject well it could be a challenge okay so they are slightly moody and fluctuates lack of consistency because the run water is stable the yin water is not that stable so if you lend them money well it's very difficult for you to expect them to return you because they also forgot they're constantly craving chasing what is the next they keep moving ahead 
So for them, too much idea could actually drown them. So this kind of person will mix better entrepreneurial, but however, they need to find way to execute it or find a system to actually make things work. And they're also emotion driven because for those who are born with this day master in the morning, when they come to work, nine in the morning, wow, they are cheerful, happy, fruit, talk about ideas. Then 9.30, suddenly they can become thunderstorm. So you have to aware about them because they are the, the cloud are constantly changing. So that's all for the 10 day masters. Now that you understand what kind of driver are you, then you will know how to actually use or influence by all this different energy in your chart. So next, we are going to talk about the 12th zodiac. <coughs> In your budget chart, there are four different columns, four different pillars, which you can find the zodiac, okay? So for the year, it could be uh, represent your general impressions. This could be the how your car actually looks like. You could be born with your, 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 your classmate and they were all in the same year, but you know, different car have different engine, different driver, they will behave differently. But each of these 12 zodiac will have their own subconsciously kind of characteristic. So I have even created this ultimate Zod uh, 12 zodiac cheat sheet or 12 earthly branches. So you can discover the all the interactions like harm, the combinations, the destructions, the tree harmony, all this technical stuff within this one cheat sheet. So yeah, this is what I do because in my course, in my teaching, I, I will simplify all this complex information into just straight to refer kind of uh, answer, it will help you to speed up your reading anyway, okay? So let us get started with the red zodiac. Well, the red zodiac, if you can see, is basically a, this is the zodiac, and you can see inside next to the zodiac sign, there is this word written, like this is the zi, the red, okay? Inside the red, each of the zodiac will have hidden element. Okay, inside of them, they could be having one, two, or even three. So it depends what kind of energy is with that kind of zodiac. Okay, the zodiac themselves will have their own sets of energy. And inside each of these sets of energy, inside of them, they also have internal uh, additional energy, additional features. And it can react differently according to different driver. Okay, so first of all, in Chinese metaphysics, the 12 earthly branches, the 12 zodiac actually inherited hidden wisdom that you can find online. I, I just somehow forgot where I, where I referred it to. Perhaps you can find online where it talk about pairing, the matching, the wisdom is still within this hidden uh, layer. Okay, I will be introducing to you the characteristic and also the hidden wisdom. So let us take a look. Take a look at the red zodiac. The first one, the red is very smart. They have a lot of wisdom. They have their own sense of intelligence. They're constantly moving because the red zodiac inside, they have this, the cloud, the yin water that I'm already mentioned previously. They're constantly moving, craving and searching around the loophole, crawling around to find the shortcuts, to find resources. And they are very witty and they somehow able to navigate any uh, environment they can. So they are also very attractive because those who are born with the red zodiac, not only they are, they are having their intelligence, their intel intelligence somehow exudes some attractive because the red is part of the peach blossom star, which brings you likability, attractive. So your attractive is more about wisdom, your knowledge to, to talk about uh, ideas and your way of uh, interpreting the world is slightly unique. And next is the pair with the ox zodiac. Well, the, of, the ox zodiac is the one who put on the tough work, all the hard work, and they are constantly working on the field. So for them, they are very nurturing and very practical for them. Work is work. It's all about, you know, stop all these ideas. Instead, let us put everything into action. So for them, they were able to carry out their due diligence, all the hard work, and they are highly de dependable. They, and they only have their own sets of ambitious. It's like, you know, the moment I clear all the tasks today, I'm getting nearer to my goal, okay? 
and for the ox they will take the safest part while the safe the safe path while the red zodiac will take the shortcuts so in chinese wisdom they will bring you wisdom should also exist together with hard work if you put in the hard work as well but if without wisdom you are just blind working so in chinese wisdom this is the hidden message the old ancient sages inherited to us through the 12 earthly branches so now that you know the ox may be hard working but the the red zodiac is very witty very smart and both of them hopefully are meant together to actually provide you the wisdom okay next is the tiger zodiac and the rabbit zodiac well the tiger is brave they are constantly uh, grow themselves constantly explore and constantly being able to uh, 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 diversify their thoughts and ability to actually explore new territory so inside the tiger zodiac you can see this Jia, the Yang Earth, the Yang Earth, they are quite stubborn and they are also quite noble because this governs the, their, their thoughts. They, and they also have this Wu Earth where they are more territorial. They talk about how they can grasp and manage their environment. And also with the Bing Fire, which is the resource for both the wood and also the earth element, it means that they are someone who exude the, the generosity or, or ferocity within them, their passion, their ability to, to, to uh, take prey on others, okay? So, brave is representing the tiger zodiac. For the rabbit zodiac, they are hidden, they, this is a wood element, hidden inside is the yi, the yin earth, where it brings them to be more cautious and they are more mental alert all the time because they are more tiny little cute animal where they are more easily prey being hunted so that's why they are more intuitive they are more sensitive with environment and they are able to navigate any anywhere easily with flexibility uh, with, with flexibility and the rabbit zodiac also represent one of the peach blossom style where they exude beautiful their ability to actually charm other to attract other people so they are attractive and likable and they're also flexible and agile because they are easily moved around because maybe because of their size being a rabbit they are cute but at the same time it's very difficult to catch a rabbit if you try before so in the chinese wisdom layer well wisdom and cautious need to be exist together okay the tiger zodiac despite they are the explorer because the tiger zodiac is also one of the uh, sky hostile which means they will have tendency to to travel so for those who are born with the tiger zodiac anywhere in their chart so they are bound to love to travel okay they could be meeting foreigners people from abroad they have more friends in, in other place so this is about the sky horse star so brave and cautious need to exist together otherwise when the tiger keep attack blindly and you could become the prey if you don't aware of you you are not cautious enough of over your surrounding and for the rabbit you could be overly cautious sometimes to a stage that you don't dare to take action don't dare to actually go out to take risks so make sure you are able to adapt yourself being able to respond accordingly okay and next is the dragon zodiac and the snake zodiac well the dragon is the fierce i know i know a lot of people were wondering in the old day of china is there really a dragon well the dragon is just a symbol symbolism in in represent this characteristic inside the dragon there are earth element and also the gui water the yin water and also the yi wood well the wu earth is about nobility like a mountain they are very territorial and they are very aggressive so for them they are fearless they are, fer they are ferocity able to exude fear among others and they are very not only courageous but within them they are actually trying to protect or they are trying to protect their ground and also protect the stuff that matters to them so that's why the dragon normally also represent the uh, what we call the emperor because uh, the dragon symbolize power authority and also uh, prosperous with a lot of resources so that's why the dragon zodiac is part of the storage so most of the time when you see the storage it means this zodiac have at least most of the time we have three hidden elements okay the main will be the center one and subsequently supported by the gui water or sub element so for them 
they are very protective and very territorial and they constantly roam above the sky while for the snake they are more grounded they are more sensi uh, sensitive around their environment and they are also very flexible so if you notice that in most religions in the world they will have the snake deity they will pray to the to the snake deity because why the snake actually is very one of the spiritual animal because they are very sensitive with it, with their environment so they can sense what is going on around and they are quite flexible and they are more cautious as well so they can even detect earthquake before other people will start running away okay so adaptive grounding they are sensitive and they crave for that inner security and they are very intuitive because inside the snake, you can see they are hidden Bing, Wu, and Gum. So Bing, they are very magnanimous and they are also ever nurturing and giving and protect their own tribes. And the Wu Earth is someone uh, is about trust, about environment, the security. So for those who are born with the snake zodiac, you are very protective as well. But there is this hidden Yang metal, if you can see in this chart. So it also means that if you trigger them, if you make them feel uncomfortable, or they, they felt dangerous, they will bite. Okay, they need to defend their ground. They need to defend themselves because they are so highly intuitive. So they hold a lot of value inside of them and they can be used to provide a lot of different resources to other people. So that's why for those who are born with the snake zodiac, this is your characteristic. But when it comes to uh, the Chinese ancient wisdom, when you have the ferocity of the dragon, you also need to be aware, you know, being the dragon, you will constantly charge ahead, attack a wide group of area. The snake represents the flexibility, not necessarily must use head to head kind of fight. Sometimes you need to be flexible and react accordingly and protect your ground like you know, the snake will have their own way to protect their ground by you know having their own poison not necessary must use all your physical actions in order to protect yourself but sometimes you need the flexibility aware of your ground the foundations because after all we human are living in this planet and we have to be sensitive with the the how is our planet is moving okay so remember having this you have to be malleable have to be somewhat uh, transforming yourself, being able to adapt and being able to instill new skill set. That is the flexibility that the snake zodiac have. So both of them together will remind you, don't just charge hardly, hard on. Don't just use the same old skill set. Be able to create new skill set, be able to build new skill set. That will be able to help you to stay ahead of the trend, okay? Next is the horse and goat zodiac. Well, the goat is one of the attractive uh, zodiac because for them, they, they have the hidden ding fire, which brings them the ability to attract through, uh, other people through their passion, through their own charisma because the horse zodiac love to travel. The horse is also one of the peach blossom star, as I mentioned. So the peach blossom brings attractive likability so for those who are born with the horse zodiac, high chance you are attractive as well. And you also love to charge towards the new uh, horizon. You keep constantly exploring new territory. Your, your, your passion drives you to uh, explore any po new possibility ever. So for those who are born with the horse zodiac, this is the characteristic that you inherited. But for the good zodiac, it's slightly different because the goat is slightly more docile, they are more enjoying, go with the flow, and they are not keen to, to explore the wide field, you know, the, 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 the distance. However, they are, they are more tenacious and they are constantly driven by small uh, short-term attraction. They love short-term attraction where it brings them from one spot to another spot. They, don't, they may not see things in big picture, but they are very good in climbing mountain. If you can see, the, the horse will run through the wild, wild west, the horizon. Wow, the goat zodiac will have ability to climb mountain. So one is horizontal, another one is vertical. In order to climb the, the vertical of hills and mountain, you must be driven by short-term leap of uh, step-by-step leap to go up. 
the horse is just run across, the goat is more uh, flexible and they are more driven by, by short term uh, spot, being able to spot the, sh the next path. So for them, they are driven by uh, excitement and they, are con they can have the ability to conquer any terrain. So when it comes to Chinese wisdom, the horse brings, you have the courage to explore and the goat also brings you the ability to, grow, to go with the flow. Sometimes not every terrain will be flat land. Sometimes they're bound to have some hill, there are some, 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 some drop downs, and they're bound to have different obstacles. And we must be able to instill the mindset to go with the flow at the same time having the mind of explorating what could be lies ahead in front of our journey. Perhaps the mountain that we are seeing is just a small obstacle, small hill, but behind that, there's a wider area that we that await us to discover. So being able to run and climb mountain is something that we have to instill our mindset. Okay, this is the Chinese wisdom. Next is the monkey and rooster. Monkey, they are very adaptive because as you can see, they have this gung, the yang metal underneath them, and also the wolf, they are very protective with their environment, their tribes, and also with the run water, which I already mentioned that they are more intelligent, they have the wisdom, they have the knowledge, they are very smart, very righteous, very uh, witty, they are very playful, non-stop exploring because the monkey is also one of the travel star. So for those who have the monkey, especially in their day, you have tendency to explore, to travel, change environment because you have the ability to adapt into any environment. So you are also well, witty, intelligent. So for you, it's like a monkey non-stop jumping around. They are very flexible, adaptive, but very hard to stay still in one place. While for the rooster, they are very consistent because every morning you can hear them, coo -coo -coo, you know, that's what they do. For them, they are quite serious about their, their job, the things that they do. When they, when they speak, they are able to, you know, exude their, their charismatic, their uh, attractiveness in their own way because they are somewhat very serious. And every time they speak, they will, you, you can sense them, they have their authority. So for those who are born with the rooster, they are someone who prefer to establish themselves as someone who is prim and proper professionals. And when they speak, they are very outspoken because every time they speak, you'll be hearing a lot of data, a lot of facts and figures, a lot of knowledge because that's who they are. So in terms of the Chinese wisdom, monkey could be very adaptive, but in order to build a long lasting business or long, long term kind of a, a, a career, you need to stay consistent like the rooster. You can be very witty and playful, could be you know fooling around, but don't forget that you still need to be able to uh, portray your consistency and being serious about your job and take everything with facts and figure. You could be very smart, but sometimes you need to know how to speak the, the, the fact and figure, the wisdom, the knowledge, okay? So both of them need to pair together, which bring us wisdom, knowledge, being able to adapt and also be consistent. You could be very consistent daily, but you sometimes when the environment have changed, you need to change and being able to adapt just like the monkey, okay? For the last pair, which is the dog, the dog is very loyal. As you can see, they have this, uh, oh, by the way, the rooster zodiac is also one of the peach blossom. So they have their sense of attractiveness on their own. So most of the time, they are more attractive based on their characters, uh, their, their own charisma. They somehow, they're more uh, attractive in a way of more profession. They are more refined and, and somehow they are able to exude that aura, that, that, that energy is making you feel, wow, this person is just so gorgeous, just, just so beautiful on, his, on their own. Okay, as come back to the dog, Zodiac, the dog is one of the earth element and inside of them, they have the main energy of the mountain. Ding fire create for excitement, playful, uplifting, the sin is all the sin metal is the yin metal talk about the shine uh, love uh, for crave for attention they also need the sense of uh, being uh, interact with so the dog is very loyal and they are very trustworthy they are also very uh, self-sacrificial to protect 
because as already mentioned, the Ding fire is about burning themselves, sacrifice themselves for the greater good. So the dog is very sacrificial. So that's why uh, you may heard the story, you know, the, the dog uh, just in order to protect their owner, they could be being uh, beat, they could be even, even harmed. So this is their, their nature because they wanted to protect something that they truly uh, care for. So for them, they also crave for attention and also security. For them, you, they, they constantly need the sense of being secure, consistent. You, you are constantly having the interactions because the, the yin matter, the sin, will also brings you ability to uh, be playful. At the same time, you need attention. You need to be loved. You need to be feeling that you are being cared for. So that's who you are, dependable and protective. While for the pig, well, they are more easygoing. They are not too overly hardworking like the dog. They are more chill. They talk about rewarding themselves, enjoy the food, go with the flow. And because simply why? They have this rune water, which talk about knowledge, wisdom. Water produces the hidden jiao wood, the hidden yang wood underneath. They will constantly grow with wisdom and knowledge. They will constantly curious, love to read. Also, they love to grow themselves in a certain way. But for them, this is the pig is also one of the travel star for them. It's about craving for uh, exploring new adventure, exploring new territory, gain new experience. Besides working for the pig, it's all about enjoying themselves. So it's very important for them because the run water need to flow out, need to find new stuff, need to experience new new mental stimulations kind of uh, 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 freak, uh, the trigger okay so they are intelligent and know how to enjoy themselves they're also very compassionate and they love to explore there's no other word to define them the pig just know how to enjoy themselves so when it comes to the chinese wisdom you can be very loyal but you just remember that you can't forget your self-love your self-sustainability should not be just relying on other people to take good care of you okay so being easygoing sometimes you can't neglect the aspect of being loyal because you know you can just keep moving and flowing out there but in our life in our what we call the social scene we need to have that sense of loyalty to be able to serve other people we can't neglect the people around us especially when it comes to family or relationship so overall those are the hidden wisdom that instill with the 12 earthly branches or the 12 chinese zodiac once you have discovered that then you understand that these are some of the characteristics that you may inherited and remember different day master will interpret or interact with the hidden uh, hidden energy differently okay so make sure you understand that for example, let us do some example. Uh, this is the Wu of the mountain person sitting on tiger. So when the mountain sitting on tiger, this means this earth tiger love to move. Despite they are constantly, you know, stay still, they're stubborn, they don't move, but still they are very observant. They know what is going on around. And having the the hidden jia, the what we call if you can see the seven k, it means they are action oriented they will actually disrupt themselves and take charge and they can be unstoppable. When they are born in this day, this also governs their relationship. They prefer someone who is very uh, action-oriented and someone who can solve problems, someone who can actually uh, support each other when they need it the most and they were able to uh, uh, what we call explore and gain new life experience together, someone who can actually grow together with the mountain person. And they are born in this month of rooster, which is the engine is very serious. So in their work, they could be dropped that serious and they are very consistent in, ed, in order to execute their ideas. But for the mountain born in the rooster, it also means the metal producing, uh, the earth producing metal. This is their output structure means this mountain can be able to talk the fact and figure. They are very good in telling stories. They will tell you the nitty gritty of how stuff works and they can even uh, populate a lot of facts and figures, the source where they got all this information and they're going to be, be straightforward, fast and just no BS, chop the wood and that's it. 
Okay, so this is the kind of characteristic this person inherited. And for the external born in the year of horse, basically it means this person is also love to travel and the friends is also love to travel because the horse star is all about uh, traveling and they are having a lot of passion. So this person, if, which is also born in the earth horse year, which also brings you, this person could be very tough, could be very uh, uh, observant, but still within them, they love to explore the nature. So this is the first impression among the friends, okay? And he in the Our Pillar talk about the Yi Wood flexibility, the vision is to be able to flexible, to live and uh, enjoy life where they are systemized, their, their workflow so they can run uh, detach away from business they can explore new uh, new excitement at the same time someone will be able to help them to uh, run their business to help them to administer do all the nitty-gritty work and having the attraction the rabbit zodiac which brings likability the ideas their thoughts is very attractive so this kind of person somehow the more you know them the more you find them, they are more attractive in their own intellectual mind, okay? They are more systematic. They know how to tell you the story, how to establish every single thing, how to work around in a more intelligent way. So this is one of the examples. And this chart, by the way, is plotted using joeyup.com slash BZ chart. So you can go there and register once and you can plot infinite amount of chart, okay? And this chart is plotted using the Chinese Metasoft, which is also free. Just go there and I already uh, put it in my link. So do check it out. So let's say this person is the Ding Fire. Ding Fire, this is the motivator, okay? Ding Fire is just like a torchlight. Born during the, uh, the hour of uh, the dog, which is starting to get dark. So the torchlight, the motivator, will, we need to check which hour they were born, okay? Because during if you are born during a day, whatever you do may not be appreciated because people people can't, just can't see you. But if you're born during the, the night where you are most mostly needed for the warmth because you are born during the winter month in the pig, where the pig talk about you know, enjoy yourself and you know, chill legs. So this one the water counter the fire, which means the car this engine. It's very tough and it will run on its own and this engine will enjoy their own path, their own momentum. So, and the peak is also one of the traveling stars. So, in this, this uh, the career for this person will have tendency to travel, to enjoy new places, to enjoy new experience. But at the same time, the engine will control him instead so he have to learn how to navigate how to have the system the protocol the workflow to actually work together with this engine so this is some of the characteristic of this person okay next is this chart uh by uh, buzzercalculator.co.co okay basically this is the chart um, there's a lot of text but all you need to know is to find out the day master this is jia wood yang wood tough wood sitting on red zodiac which brings resources so this person is self-driven self-grown constantly learning and they are also able to self-lead themselves because they already have the energy have the resources and born in the month of dog the dog is very loyal in terms of work they are very loyal into exploring because they have the indirect wealth sea metal and also ding fire they are also crave for attention, crave for uh, excitement, crave for new opportunity. So, but still they are very loyal in their work. They are very consistent, but they crave security. And on top of this, you can see um, the month have the heavenly stem of the uh, girl metal. In their work, they could be very tough, straightforward, cut the chase, you know, straightforward, make the decision, be decisive. And this person is also a, a problem solver, but he will also attract a lot of problem. So, just aware that you know in your work the engine will give you trouble but your role is to solve problem anyway and take advantage the more problem you solve the more money you can make you can see in this perspective okay and this one last chart this is the ding fire uplifting the torchlight born during the hour of uh, noon the horse hour around 11 to 1 uh, p.m so during the day, well, the, the candlelight were not being seen, not much people appreciate 
uh, whatever this person is doing and born in the month of uh, the engine of monkey the monkey will keep crawling around keep jumping and non-stop and crave for uh, execution power they crave for explorations this is a very smart person and but for them it's all about doing the due diligence for them they will try to exude more on uh, less taking risk but able to follow through results driven kind of task okay so each of the element when they interact different driver with different car different engine will give you different outcome so remember that so overall this is the this is my presentations and this is the things that i hope you all will start to aware and learn how you can actually understand your own self and there's a lot of information i have included in my website as well do check it out and i'll be sharing more stuff and so don't just you know keep learning about or discover what's the the luck of my zodiac based on the year of my birth it could influence you differently and by the way let's, let's just take this chart for example okay this person born in 1975 rabbit next year he will go through some massive changes in term of her network her 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 uh the the resources the supplier the people around it could he, this person the ding fire could be surrounded by highly powerful people influential people people who are with the authority because next year in year 2023 the rabbit will be the grand duke so they will be bound to some changes in the external in the, your car the shell which will also subsequently of influence the person okay because the car that you're driving is going to navigate you okay and the engine is the monkey monkey in year 2022 is clashing with the grand duke so this person may have changed in terms of his career his engine how he make money so he may experience sudden change this year but still because the monkey zodiac have a lot of what we call relief star which subsequently the change will be good because this year the monkey is also a traveling star right as i already told you so the monkey have tendency to travel and change new environment migrate to other places or being uh, 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 transfer department to other people to work with uh, a foreigner or, or somewhere further so these are the potential and born in the day of rooster well the rooster all this while have a lot of auspicious star for the past few years but in year 2023 the rooster is clashing with the rabbit so the relationship may have some changes be it big or small if this person is single perhaps it's time for her to uh, could discover it's time to get into a relationship despite you know born in 1975 but who say 1975 you can't find your own life partner right so but uh born in the hour of horse well hour of horse year 2020 the red has clashed the horse so they are bound to some changes in terms of her idea her aspirations but still it's still doing very well because why sometimes changes brings you opportunity to actually rediscover your life purpose rediscover your 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 next plan the rest of their their li your life what are you going to do with it you know so overall these are just some of the changes and you may notice okay another thing slightly advanced which talk about internal clash in your natal chart let's say the rooster clashing with the rabbit basically it means that your spouse or somehow you internally dislike your network dislike the car body shell i don't like this car i don't like this shell i don't like the look on it it's just they don't like means that they don't like your friends your group of friends there are some clashes you know not kind of not aligned kind of a, a preference or taste it's just a minor issue it's not really a big issue it's just that not recommend for you to actually spend too much time working with your peers you know people around you especially your wife she just may not love your friends that's it okay overall it's not really a big issue maybe she prefer to have their own, her own realm for example so yep overall this is how we read puzzle chart and they are bound to have more layers like the 10 gods system the auxiliary stars the five elements the five structures and there's literally there's a lot but whatever shared in this video was sufficiently to help you to understand you yourself better so overall that's all from me in this sharing to help you all to read your chart because i've been receiving a lot of comments and uh, in my previous video that you can check it out later on 
because I've been doing a lot of sharing like this and hopefully I will be able to you know help you to understand how you can read your own chart understand yourself better and perhaps even understand your spouse better so that's all from me Jonathan Lee from Renergy I'll be seeing you soon in the next video bye bye and by the way don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe to my channel because I will be releasing more teachings and more education and all, all the tips to help you in navigating your year 2023 with more advantage. So that's all from me, John of Lee, signing off. Bye-bye.